Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Destiny. I am Death from Above, standing in front of a cave. Yes, it is Burgusia Cave. It is the Niobe Labs. And we're going to talk about uh, forge loadouts. Question for you. What's your best Burgusia forge loadout? What have you been running the most? Now, I've got a couple variations of what I've been running, but I, I typically tend to go with some sort of shotgun or sniper in the primary slot so I can run the risk runner down here at the bottom. Or a sniper right here with uh, a pulse rifle, maybe the uh, blast furnace up as my primary. I run, I run those two kind of interchangeably and then definitely a machine gun down below. If you have Whisper of the Worm for that boss, melts it, melts it. I don't have it. And even if I did, I wouldn't be able to run the Risk Runner at the same time. I could switch my loadout before the boss shows up, but then you gotta gather a little ammo. May or may not work out. So this is typically what I'm running. We're gonna try this out. I haven't tried the Risk Runner out too much. Uh, I didn't have any infusion fuel for it until just yesterday. So we're going to try out the Risk Runner in Bargusia Forge, have some fun, and laugh at the Niobe Labs, and uh, shoot the man. So let me put that question to you again. What's your best loadout for Bargusia? What are you using? What do you like? Uh, what's your strategy? I've, I've, I've seen it two ways. One, uh, you do the forge, as you know, do the forge as usual, throw balls. I remember there was, a, I don't remember what streamer it was, but I was watching them when they were trying to unlock Niobe labs and they said man if it's just throw balls at a new at another forge i'm gonna be mad well you're throwing balls at a forge it's a little bit different though uh definitely a different enemy situation i like the arena and uh it's a good it's a good time i wish the cabal would kind of come in i wish there was a way you could throw it to the cabal variant because they're definitely in here i don't know why but i like it i want more of that anyway what's your best loadout what are you running the two strats i've seen i have seen uh stand up and snipe the boss with the whisper or get right on it and destroy it uh the boss fight though once i've gotten to the boss i've never failed the boss getting to the boss though i failed a couple times i don't know uh it is 650 light so it is a little bit challenging so if you're running something like me let me get a thumbnail shot Ooh, thumbnail shot i'm making that noise so when i look at the uh when i look at the playback i'll see it in the <laughs> In the audio and be like oh there's my thumbnail right there so risk runner i'm gonna run a shotgun since i'm running risk runner and i'm gonna be getting in uh, enemies faces i don't know how well that's gonna work out with my hunter because he is 642 he's slightly underpowered not too much is because i can't get some good boots uh, i need more boots and i need more gauntlets gauntlets what are you doing get out of here so it is fallen it is a risk runner it's weird that the forge sends you uh some arc damage so you can kind of start off on the right foot hey guys did you need some arc Arc damage, I can give it to you. The only thing is the uh, servitors don't throw arc. Now, it may or may not be a big deal. Oh, what's that? Oh. <laughs> Still working on unlocking GoFanon on this guy, apparently. Which, uh, now that you can get... Oh, come on, man. That's not the way to start. And it's going to roll off the edge. I got it. I got it. I got it. We're good. I was going to say, that's not a good way to start the video. Is throwing the ball. Did it miss again? Have I missed twice, or is that this? Is that somebody else's? Get in there. I don't know, but I'm mad about it either way. Come on, hey, you need to come stab me. Stab me? Stab me? Over here. Over here, bro. Stab me? No, not them guys. I wanted this guy to hit me with his arc sword, but no, the explody boys are here. I definitely enjoy the uh, risk runner either way. I mean, it's a good SMG without the uh, exotic perk procin, but... With the exotic perk, it just brings it to a whole nother level. Especially with Fallen, man. I know I did this same thing for GoFan, and, and I mean, it's just, you know, it's Fallen again. Fallen again? Yes, yeah, Fallen again, Asher. Get a little shotgun in there. That was a good shot. Definitely a good shot. Definitely a good shot. So, guys, let me know what you think. What you running, what you like, and if you like this video, like this channel, you like what I do here, don't forget to go by that. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not Philly. Um,. Yeah, like the video, subscribe, all that nonsense. Come out the Twitch channel. I'll be live streaming tonight. I'm going to get back on it. Last night, I took off Saturday night to uh, take a break, take it easy. Spend some time with the uh, wife, even though she was asleep. <laughs> I sat in the bed and uh, watched The Office. It was it was just wonderful. Are you going to go? No? I'll hit you with this. Yeah, there it is. This is the first time I've been in the pit, and I really haven't been suffering as much. It seems like every time lately I've been in the pit, that has been a, uh, a bit of suffrage. A bit of frustration and a lot of dying. So maybe the risk run is the way to go. Get in their face before they can get in your face. Just watch out for those explodey boys. The explodey boys, man. Let's get into uh, 
Let's get in the primary launch position. Doing that. I don't have a weapon right now. I could have finished a frame, but I wanted to get in here and uh, talk to you guys about Bergusi and see what you think. So what did you think? Did, did it live up to expectations? I know Niobe Labs kind of was was rough. It was rough to get into if you were a streamer or if you were waiting on it as a uh, player. Didn't let you in. Didn't let you in quite how Bungie, I think, intended it. And I think it, it was due to a uh, an oversight on their part. Unintentional oversight, but still an oversight. Give it to him. Ooh, just give it to him. What are you doing? You go away. I'm trying to dance out of there and I'm in the corner. I am now invisible. Oh, get it. Oh, get it. Yeah, give me those balls. I like them. Oh, throw it. I know I clicked it. I know I clicked it. Ooh, is that a tether I see? Yeah, it is. We want some shotgun. Oh, they're all dead. All right. No lo no reload? Alright, let's get it. Let's get it. Oh, I got no shotgun ammo. We need to change it. Sometimes I think... Oh, hey guys. I think it might be beneficial to run a shotgun for the first round and a half, round and three quarters. And then once you get maybe ten balls in... Giggity. <laughs> ten balls in to the uh, forge on the second round. Throw on, a, throw on a primary sniper or something. That's what I'm going to do in a minute. Just a second. Just, oh gosh. That's a bad idea, Dad. Don't do that. But I've run, uh, I've run, and really loadouts up to you, because really the most fun about this is how fast the boss dies every time. It's almost as fast as in, uh, is an army. Is an army the boss dies ridiculously quick? I'm gonna punch you to your dead of it. I promise I'm gonna do it. All right. So uh, I think it might be time to switch to the snippety snipe for killing the boss. Is it worth changing my Risk Runner? Because I will not be using the Risk Runner past, uh, past this on the boss. I guess I could run up there and shoot the boss. It might be fun. Look at this guy running the Risk Runner, too. He knows what's up. Teammate. Bro, you are a teammate. Let me tell you. Oh, that's a sniper. That is not a shotgun. Dance. I'm invisible. You can't touch me. <laughs> so I've run the, uh, the Huckleberry. I've run... The Blast Furnace. The Blast Furnace is really good if you want to get up there and play Overwatch for your team. I like getting up there with the Blast Furnace. I've got a uh, Radiant Obsidian, Obsidian Radiance, whatever it's dang called. I've got that up there. And uh, I set up here with my Blast Furnace and I just take out the enemies. That's what I did with my Hunter before he got to uh, high enough light where he could survive the pit. So, look at this guy. Have a, uh, you can have that, yeah. I'll let you have it. No, nope, just three? Only three? Alright. Tether's not doing a whole lot. <laughs> not doing a whole lot to that boss right now. But uh, this is typically what I've seen. Nobody's got the Whisper, so I'm kind of surprised right now. That it's, uh... It is what it is currently. Give me them orbs, man. That was nice. Give me some more orbs if you really want to. See, kind of... Now I'm kind of in a situation where I need to run, uh... Run something different. The machine gun gets it done. I can... I can spin to reload. This is gonna be a... This is a relatively slow boss kill. If you guys haven't made it into uh, Bergusi Forge, do remember that you can do any weapon frame here in Bergusia. Even the ones that say go to go Fanon or Izanami or Vonder. You can come here. It'll do them all. And you have the chance to get the uh, old girl, the Yotun. You've gotten that Yotun. Um, I don't like you. <laughs> That's like the one exotic that I really wanted to get from Black Armory from when they were uh, promoing it. I really wanted a Yotun. I have not gotten one yet, and I'm really... I think I know how to get it, so stay tuned. Maybe uh, maybe tomorrow, after this video goes up, we'll talk about how to get a Yotun. If if I can make it happen. There's nothing in there for me. There's nothing in there for me. Hi, would you like to come back to life? Sure. All right. Tainted Black Armory. Anything? Anything? Bueller? Just two blues. Two blues and some modulary, homodulary, bilodulary, battery reports. So what do you guys think? What's your best loadout for the Bergusia Forge? Do you think Bergusia should have been different? Is it underwhelming? Is it overwhelming? Is it just whelming? Uh, have you done that OB Labs? And if so, good on you. Oh, there's blue over there. I'm gonna go get that. Hold on. This is a big deal. For my hunter, it could be an upgrade. <laughs> for my hunter, it actually could be an upgrade. I've gotten some blue armor pieces that have been serious upgrades. Oop, yep. All right, let's check it out. It's 633 now. I think I'm at the soft cap for blues though. Like that one right now is my highest, my highest boot, 633. 
All right, guys, that's going to do it for me, for Burgusi. I'm going to go get some weapon frames going, go get some uh, stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of frustrated because I couldn't get the uh, special the special bounty on my Titan. Ooh, we got some bounties to turn in here. Couldn't get the special bounty on my Titan. I have one on my Warlock and my Hunter, but my Titan's the one that has the quest for the box with the key. Can't get one of these. I'm frustrated. Anyway. Let me know what you think about Bergusia. What's your best loadout? What are you running right now? And uh, I don't know. Come by the Twitch channel. Link's in the description. I'll be there. But until then, until next time, I'm Death Above, and I'll see you later.